Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva that you can then go ahead and sell on platforms such as Amazon Merch On Demand, Etsy, Redbubble, and more. Um, the designs also can be sold on more than just t-shirts, so any kind of print-on-demand product that you like. So if this is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. Okay, so in today's video, I wanted to go over something a little different. I'm just gonna talk about what niches that you should be designing for right now um, for topics that we're gonna cover in the next couple of months. So you always wanna be designing at least one to three months ahead of time. So I know that right now we're in the middle of quarter four, everybody's rearing up for Christmas, a lot of Christmas stuff will have already sold. It is, you know, definitely get your Christmas stuff up there, but it's a little bit late to be starting Christmas if you haven't started it yet. So right now what you might be thinking about is starting to make your designs for January and February. And so that's kind of where my mind is going right now is I'm always looking a couple of months ahead of time. So when I'm starting to think about January, um, there's some of the obvious ones and some of the maybe not obvious ones, but the main things that you're gonna wanna make sure that you hit for January, obviously starting January 1st is New Year's, obviously. So you can always get your New Year's designs up. Again, you've only got about one month for that, so we are pushing it a little bit on the time timeline, but if you haven't put some New Year's designs up, you're gonna wanna do that right away. Um, you've also got Chinese New Year. Now, Chinese New Year um, typically falls in January, and this year, 2023, is going to be the year of the rabbit. So if you haven't made any designs for Chinese New Year, that's something that you might consider. Um, Another huge one in January, very, very big, is 100 days of school. Now that is going to switch district to district. Um, every school kind of has its own timeline, obviously, but typically 100 days of school falls somewhere around January, February, and it's usually a big deal in elementary school, specifically in kindergarten, but they'll do it you know, in all of the kind of lower grades that you're looking at. If you don't have kids in school, you may have never heard of this before, and don't worry if you haven't, but trust me, it is a big thing and it sells huge every year. So some of the niches that you might see would be something like Happy 100th Day of School, I Crushed 100 Days of School, I Survived 100 Days of School. You can have it for teachers, you can have it for students or classroom helpers, you can do it as matching group shirts. So there's a lot of different fun ways that we can go with this niche, and I will go ahead and show you a video on this a little bit later, but that is one that you wanna be thinking about right now. Also in January, you've got Martin Luther King Day, that is on the 16th of January. And people are also in terms of just um, general niches, winter sports. So, right, we're in the middle of winter, you know, it's snow season, people are out there skiing, snowboarding, and doing all of their winter sports. So those are always good designs that you want to throw in this time of year. And so that is January, that's what you want to be thinking about most urgently. And then um, following that with February real quick, just because you want to be thinking a couple months ahead of time, and February is a much busier month, so there's a lot going on in February typically. Valentine's Day is probably the first one that you think of. It's very popular. It's a very saturated niche, so you'll have to find ways to cross niche and get creative with it. You can do kids' Valentine's shirts, adult Valentine's shirts, funny Valentine's shirts, anti-Valentine's shirts for people who are against Valentine's Day or single, single Valentine's shirts. There's a lot of funny ways to go with that. But that's obviously what people will tend to think of when they think February, but there's a lot more going on. Black History Month is in February, and that is another big seller every year. If you haven't touched this niche, you're gonna wanna start thinking about it, thinking about it, doing some research on Black History Month, because that is a big one. It is Heart Disease Month, where a lot of people were, will <laughs> wear red or go red for heart disease. Um, heart disease is one of those number one killers, so it affects a lot of people. And so anybody in the medical field or anybody who has a family member who um, maybe has had issues with heart disease, um, there's a lot of really um, fun designs that you can make in support of Heart Disease Month. 
President's Day is February 20th, so if you want to make some funny um, President's Day designs, there's a lot of fun ones that you've probably seen before. Um, some of the ones where they uh, niche beer um, with the presidents can be fun. There's some like George Slothington or Ben, F ben Drinkin or... <laughs> um, what is it? Uh, Drinking like Lincoln. So you can look up some of those, but there's a lot of fun President's Day ones. Groundhog's Day is February 2nd. So if you want to make some Groundhog's Day shirts, uh, that's another good one too. World Cancer Day is February 4th. Um, and so there's some, some, you know, cool designs you could do for World Cancer Day. Mardi Gras is, um, the 21st and so Mardi Gras is another big one people sell a lot of designs for Mardi Gras obviously funny is good and so you can think of a lot of different cool ways to you know do Mardi Gras type shirts and then there's the Super Bowl which typically falls in um February and now you got to be careful with the Super Bowl because obviously you can't do Super Bowl related shirts but you can certainly do football shirts. Um, some of the common ones that I've seen in the past would be, you know, I'm just here for the halftime show, or I just hope both teams have fun, or just generalized um, football shirts, tailgating shirts, things like that. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with the football niche in February. So this was a quick video. I just wanted to give you guys some things that you want to start thinking about designing for. I will go over some of these in, in some future videos in terms of different designs and how to do them. But just to give you a heads up and start thinking ahead, you always want to be, you know, a couple months ahead. Um, I hope your quarter four is going good. I hope you guys are getting lots of sales. Again, if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. If there's anything you want to see, you know, go ahead and put it in the comment section below. I do try to get back to them as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are finding this channel useful. Um, and I do hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.